Well, hello loves, this is Kimberly here. Welcome to A Blessed Home with Kimberly Davis. Today, I am moving along in my Let's Get Organized series. I also have another series called The Spring Fling for 2022. And they're kind of running together because we want to get things done here in my home. Today, as you can see, I am in the kitchen. I was cleaning my range and I'm like, okay, uh, turn the camera on as you clean here in the kitchen. Um, I will be putting, putting some key pieces out. Don't know if I'll get as far as decorating um, because I have pulled my bins out for Easter. <laughs> I have four bins sitting over there. Um, but my main concern is getting my kitchen clean. That way once it's clean, the fun can begin with the decorating. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad that you are here and I hope you decide to stay by clicking that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit it twice. That way you will be notified of everything that goes on here at A Blessed Home with Kimberly Davis. I can be followed on other social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok. And let me add this, you really need to be following me on Instagram because I show things there sometimes even before I bring it to YouTube. I also have an Amazon store where you can shop 24 hours a day, seven days a week for beautiful home decor, home essentials, and more. I'm always adding items to that, um, things that I have purchased in my home, things I'm planning on purchasing for my home. <laughs> all right, so all those links will be in my description box down below. And if you are a faithful and returning, ABH family member, you know you are a blessedy. <laughs> you are a blessedy. You hold a very special place in my heart. I love you guys so much, and I am truly blessed that you are part of the blessed family. So, guys, it is raining here. Uh, it is hot here. As you can see, I am sweating. Um, we have the AC on. I have, I even pulled out, you may hear it in the background, I even pulled out a box fan because these hot flashes are also real. <laughs> but I'm going to get this cleaning done today, if nothing else, in this kitchen. If you are interested in it and you need some motivation, some cleaning motivation, and you want to work along with me because I have been doing that for the past couple of videos. Uh, use this as motivation to get up and get moving. All right. <laughs> Doing a little spring cleaning, getting ahead of everything. We are cleaning all of our upholstered furniture, which are my bar stools, my kitchen nook chairs, using this Hoover shampoo it's gonna deep clean everything this hoover i've had probably how many years probably about three years and we love it this is a must-have in the home so we're gonna get busy and start cleaning the chairs So we spent one evening after we ate dinner doing this chore so that the chairs, the bar stools can dry overnight. And hubby cleaned two bar stools and six chairs. This Hoover cleaner is amazing and was a 
fantastic purchase, a much needed purchase for our home. We use it on upholstery, we use it on carpets in the bedroom, and so much more. You can see these chairs, they get messed up a bit being that off-white color, and having one of these machines are, or is, a must-have. Again, we purchased this machine about three years ago. And they are done, so we're gonna sit them aside and let them dry over night. So next, I'm gonna take some of my favorite cleaners to clean my kitchen. I'm actually gonna wash these apothecary jars just in case I want to use them during the spring season because they are good to hold candies and treats Now, do you set out treats for your family during the different seasons? My family seems to enjoy them. <laughs> they love it. Now I am going to um, install this valance. I'm gonna take my red down and install this pink valance that I picked up from Amazon. Anything that you see from Amazon will be linked in my description box down below. And I'm gonna clean this window before I put the valance up. It's amazing when you clean the window how much better <laughs> you can see out of it. I was like, wow, it's much, much brighter <laughs> just by cleaning this window. Now I did have to fight with this balance and I did steam it when I got it in place. But, um, I have one or two of these balances similar to this, but this one gave me a time. But I am loving this balance. And I'm loving the pink in my kitchen. Now, the men in the house, they're not saying much, and they probably won't say much because they know uh, this is just temporary. <laughs> they're gonna give me my pink for a brief moment. Now I had to pleat, I had to tie to get this balance taken care of. Now I am going to take my Weeman's stainless steel cleaner and clean my dishwasher and you'll see me throughout 
cleaning my appliances. I've been using this product for years. They've been around for a very, very long time. And of course, when my paper towels are low or gone, <laughs> I always like to fancy it up a bit. And I also like to see which one of my family members will uh, touch this paper towel roll first. And by the way, no one has touched it. They would go and grab just an, another, they would go and grab another roll and just place it alongside this paper towel holder. It's funny to me. But um, yeah, I just love doing this for decorative purposes. I also like to do this in my bathroom with my bath tissue as well. Now looky looky, look what just arrived here at my home, an Amazon package. <laughs> my grandson gets excited to see the Amazon truck pull up and he thinks it's his the majority of the time. And he brought this in to me, but I ordered this beautiful soap dispenser and caddy. I am a Tuscan girl at heart. And this is so, so pretty to me. The pineapple fan is something I keep on my countertop year round because of those hot flashes, y'all. <laughs> and the pineapple symbolizes welcome to the home anyway, so it fits year round. Now I shared this in a recent haul, these beautiful pink dishcloths from Amazon. Yes, I love to coordinate my dishcloths, my towels, kitchen towels, with my decor. <laughs> and I also like to place the dishcloths in this drawer here next to my kitchen sink. And what I do is fold them and roll them and place them in the drawer. Now I'm going to remove this caddy, this tiered caddy in the corner, place it in my pantry. I'm bringing out my Weedman's granite countertop cleaner. Cleaning my countertops as I move leftwards in my kitchen cleaning. Is leftwards a word? <laughs> 
something I just made up. But as I move left, from right to left in my kitchen cleaning. And you've seen this tiered stand, this marble tiered stand before. It's actually a stand, two piece stand, that I picked up from Ross last year and I love 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 using this these stands they are so so heavy now I'm just placing my pieces out and then towards the end of this video I will share the decor that I place out now I purchased this marble tray from Ross very inexpensive and I really need to go buy another one I would love to have one more and at first I thought I was like not going to feel that gold those gold stripes on it but I love it love it love it again I'm placing the pieces out that I want and then I'll come back and decorate and as I'm moving to the left, I'm going to clean my microwave using some vinegar. Heating that vinegar up in the microwave will loosen all of the debris inside. I heat it up for five minutes and let it set a bit. And while it's doing its thing, I'm wiping the stainless steel down again on the microwave and then you'll see me do my range. Now when you are cleaning do you have your favorite music on? Do you watch your favorite show? Do you watch YouTube? <laughs> That's what I do. I usually watch YouTube but right here I have some gospel music on as I am cleaning. This makes me move a little bit quicker and motivates me. Now I'm cleaning the range top with the Weedman's stove top cleaner. They have a whole range of cleaners that I absolutely love. Now you see me putting this cleaner on and I lost the footage of me actually cleaning this top. So you will see later that it is clean. But if you would like to see a cleaning video of this range, let me know in the comment section below. Now don't disregard this vinegar. We're going to use it later, all right? But I'm wiping down my microwave, the inside of it. So now I'm going to tack on my sink and I'm going to use that vinegar. You see that bowl sitting on the side there? <laughs> Using my Dawn spray. I love this cleaner. Uh, that Dawn spray is amazing. And I clean 
this seal about every two days, guys. And it amazes me how much gunk gets on that seal. <laughs> oh my goodness. That seal is probably one thing that people forget to clean and you should clean it often. Now I love a clean, shiny sink. clean the drains of my sink I use a couple of spoons of baking soda and this is where that vinegar is going to come in. Now that vinegar is warm and I'm pouring it down the drain and you can see that baking soda and that vinegar fizzing up. That's what you want. It is sanitizing that drain. It is cleaning that drain. Now I'm going back drying my sink with that vinegar and baking soda. You can let it sit for a little bit and then pour some hot water down the drain. Now I'm almost at the finish line as far as my cleaning, so I'm sweeping my floors. I should have did a little dance right there because that gives me, when I know I get to my floors, I'm almost there. Now I'm using my O Cedar broom and mop and bucket and I love this product. I guess I'm sharing some of my favorite products in this <laughs> in this video. But I love this mop, the spin mop and I ordered that from Amazon as well. Now I'm going to sit down for a minute and then we can decorate. Yay! <laughs> so I start my decorating by uh, doing these frames here. And what I use in these frames are scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby for 59 cents each or if you catch it on sale you can have two pieces for 59 cents. Easy change up. I do it all the time. Now, do you have a home line? Well, I don't. But I cover that plug with one of those pictures. Now on my windowsill, I want to look at something pretty. So I picked up this blessed sign from Walmart. 
and it didn't cost that much probably under eight dollars then I had this white pot I'm gonna place it on the windowsill as well and in that pot I'm gonna place some greenery These picks I picked up from Walmart a couple of years ago as well for 96 cents each. Now as I work around my faucet, this is a tap faucet and it keeps um, turning on so that's what you see me doing. But this is beautiful simple yet beautiful now in the corner on these tiered stands here love putting something pretty in the corner I have this bunny went into those bins those four bins that I pull out pulled out <laughs> And I pulled this bunny. He is so cute. He's actually a cookie jar. But I'm using him just as a bunny. No cookies inside. And then Hobby Lobby has their florals 50% off this week. And I went up there and picked up a few bunches. Need to go get some more. <laughs> um, but wanted to set a bunch of florals next to him. Now, this is a three-piece bowl set that I picked up a couple of years ago when the pandemic started and Ross had opened back up and I picked these few pieces up for like 99 cents each, I think including these towels. Very, very inexpensive. So it pays to shop. After the seasons are over with and I hit it big when the stores open back up after uh, the first part of the pandemic now these mixing spoons I picked up from Hobby Lobby um, the other day I think they're so so pretty with the little bunnies on the spoons so adorable That completes this vignette. Now we're going to move over to the countertop by my refrigerator. I shopped my home and found this vase, this gold vase, and I'm taking another bunch of those florals. They are so, so pretty to me placing them in the vase and then I'm going to take one of the succulent picks also from Hobby Lobby and let them drape down the front of the vase. Now I have two of these. This is the larger size napkin holder that I picked up thrifting and I'm placing some bunny napkins inside it. And then I found this cute little cookie jar from Home Goods, I think last year. And he is so, so cute. And that completes this vignette. Now, I do not like to crowd my countertops because I do cook every day. <laughs> every day I cook in my kitchen. So I need the space but I also like having something pretty in my kitchen. Now I'm working with the island, my kitchen island. I also picked up this marble Lazy Susan from Ross. And I think it was like $14.99. And shopped my home and grabbed this ginger jar. This ginger jar was light blue, but I painted it. And another bunch of those florals and I'm pointing out that I have the same florals throughout my space I'm coordinating 
my florals. <laughs> but I'm going to place the florals, bending the stem up, not to separate them, but just to keep the, the whole bunch intact. And I'm gonna place them in the ginger jar. Now I picked up this cute little bowl from Ross with the cute little gold bunny. And this gives me opportunity to place a few treats in it. And just keeping it simple. You don't have to overdo your vignettes. They look just as classic, as elegant when you keep things very, very simple. Now on the other side, I'm placing this tiered stand. So when I go grocery shopping, because that's on my to-do list this weekend, I can place a few treats out for my grandson. He knows just where they will be on the island. <laughs> but guys, I'm gonna give you a last look at everything in my kitchen, what we've accomplished today. I hope you've enjoyed is clean and decorate with me now don't think that this is it in my kitchen I will be bringing you much much more inspiration we will be going inside <laughs> my cabinets as well doing some cleaning doing some purging and some organizing Have you started decorating for spring? Have you pulled out your bunnies, your Easter eggs, your spring decor? Let me know in the comment section below. And what colors are you going with for the spring season? I would love to know. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, follow me on all of my social media sites, and shop my Amazon store. Thank you so much for watching. You take care, you be blessed, and I will see you on the next video. Love you guys, have a blessed, beautiful day. Please be safe out there and I will talk to you real, real soon.